Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, welcome back. Welcome to Let's Play Psychonauts. My name is Basilisk and I am your host for this Let's Play, so let's get started. As you can see, we are on a brain. And yeah, let this weirdness set the tone for pretty much the entire game. Is, actually I like this as a title screen. You can just bounce around on the title screen, it's awesome. It's gooey. Alright. Anyways, if we walk over to the other side of the brain, yeah, this confused the hell out of me when I first started when I first played this game. Here we have new game. Continue and load game. We're just gonna jump straight into new game here. And pretty much as soon as I jump in here, we're gonna start a cutscene, so I'm gonna <coughs> Sorry. Cut out my cut out my mic while that's going on. So let's go. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen. Why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow Psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But... 
Don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And. And... and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No! Well... Once, kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine! But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs! I got big plans for that mind. Ay vey. Yeah, the intro to this game is really a bit too long. It's one of the things I it's the one thing I really don't like about this game. I And yeah, I know I play other games with super long intro. Yeah, one moment. Alright, now that we've achieved some balance, but yeah, uh, the one thing, one of the things I, this game is not unflawed. It's a great game, but it's not unflawed. <laughs> and one of the problems is the way this intro is handled. It's very loaded. It's very wordy and kind of front loaded. We'll get to that in a second. Let's get our name in here. And yes, I'm playing the Steam version. I've beaten this game on both the non-Steam PC version and the PS2 version, so... Yeah, I'm hoping this one is a... Alright, settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! Good for you. Um, I'm hoping this one's a bit smoother in some places. This is also the second time I've, yeah, second time I've tried to okay, let's play this. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. In fact, originally, um, this was supposed to take wow, up the. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. And yeah, this is what I mean about it being front load. This is a really awkward tutorial. Um, I'll finish what I was saying in a up, moment when I've got there. more time. Shut hmm. the fuck up. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. 
If you find enough of these shy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. Like but you have to buy a shy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Yeah, that's... That is a really awkwardly delivered bit of tutorial. I genuinely don't like it. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah. Originally, this is the. Oh. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna. Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, originally this game was supposed to take up the slot. Wow, that is some weird clipping. Yeah, I found a loose side card. And you can actually collect a lot of these, a fair amount of these before you go into basic brainy. Smack this hope. I said smack that. Hello. Mm. Huh. Why? Okay. Um. But yeah, originally, what the fuck? Whoa! Yeah, okay. This game is still wonky as hell. Doesn't matter which version you play, evidently. Actually, to be fair, this is a little smoother than the PS2 version would do. That one would freak out like mad. Is that a ghost? I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars and all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Shut up! Yep. Let's grab this. Whoop. All right, we already got three of them. Now we can climb this pole here. Get a fourth. And yeah, there's a lot of acrobatics. Are we any sentient being in the galaxy Polarisma Australis? Uh, you can actually do some pretty acrobatic stuff here. Anyways, there's lots of tightrope over here. Because I want some more. Speaking of acrobatics. Ah, poop. Look at that arrowhead. And yeah, I'm actually just wandering around the camp area before we start the first level. Whoa! Okay, yeah, when you're not focusing on something, the game pops in and out bad. And I've got this thing running at the highest setting. And it's definitely not the recording, trust me. This game pops in now kind of bad on, on anything. 
I love the game, but it's not optimized that well. There we go. Yeah, the arrowheads are a form of currency. Um, and uh, uh, we got the explanation for the thing. We actually don't get an official explanation for arrowheads until later. Focus, camera. Uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah. Frozen solid. It looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Yeah, we can't do anything with that one yet. Whoop. Uh, all right, back over here. Okay, that's a dead end. Um, a few more on this. Okay, now we've got... Oh, shit. I just skipped that whole thing, didn't I? Yeah, um, we can't visit the thing that... We can't even get to the thing to remake side challenge markers yet. That's later. Alright. But yeah, um... Let's go. Ah! Okay. Yeah, um... Shit, what am I saying? Okay, now that I'm done ragging on the game's technical issues for at least the next bit. What we got here is, as you can tell, a pretty basic... A pretty can anybody hear me? Shut up. A uh, basic platformer. Whoop! Um... At least as far as such things go. Ah. Hey, where are you going, Lou? Shh! I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service! Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here! Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list! Come on, we'll see you in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield! Mm, gotta love bullies. Uh, let's see, I think this just leads down, although I think you could, yeah, grind that. I think if you uh, jump off at just the right time, you can, nope, okay. I'll uh, just head back up then. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this episode off here. Uh, <coughs> sorry. The next episode, we will begin the first level proper. So, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Basilisk, and I will see you all then. Thank you, and good night, folks.